Hello everyone, it's Suzanne Hart here, and this week's habit is influence. Influence is your ability to inspire people to take action solely because they choose to. Total inspired action. The question is, how do we actually create influence? So, I truly believe that influence is born of who you're being in the world. It is when you show up with such a level of mastery that your character inspires people and they say to themselves, I want to be like that. I want to follow that example. So what is it that actually creates this thing called influence? I have thought about this for some time because I really wanted to understand it. So my character, your character, is actually the sum total of our habits expressed over time. Our character is also our attitude, it is the skills we have, and our capacity to, to create great relationships, to make people feel special and appreciated. Now, when you put all those together, the more you master you have in each of those areas, so the habits that you have, your attitude, your skills, and your ability to cultivate relationships, actually begins to create your influence. You see, I have learned that the higher level of mastery people have in different areas of their life, the more we admire who they are. They show up as these bright lights. They show up as the example of what's possible. And their high level of, in, of performance inspires us. And it's that inspiration the fact that they create inspiration within us, inspi inspired action, that we are influenced by them and we choose to do and be what they do and become like them. You see, leadership is often thought that we tell people what to do. No, leadership occurs when people follow you out of choice. But what gives leadership power is our level of influence. And our level of influence is determined by the areas of mastery we have. So I may have influence in one area of my life and not in the other because I have mastery in that area. In other words, I show up like a bright light, the example in that area, and people choose to be and do what I do. So this is a thing that I've learned. The more mastery I have in different areas of my life equals the more influence I have overall. You see, people are looking for people who inspire and awe them. We like to see people who are up to big things. We like to see people who are pushing the envelope, leading in different areas, and doing things we once thought impossible. And it is their ability and their willingness to move first, go first, make their best better, that inspires us, and there is where influence lives. So this week's habit is influence. My question to you, where are you choosing to grow, expand, and become more? How are you choosing to show up as the bright light, a source of inspiration, so that you can also be a person of influence? Take care, blessings, and I'll talk to you next week.